What is going on guys? My name is Chris and we are back with some more UFC 3. This is part 7 I believe. And we are just going to get right into training and then we'll get to our fight with Chris Lytle. Alright. Let's fight with Chris Lytle. We have got to be careful. Because our last fight, I was, I don't know, I was being stupid and I almost got caught. So hopefully... I can stay on my toes and not lose. Because that would be very unfortunate. We just started in the UFC and that would be unfortunate for our second fight to be a loss. Coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Indianapolis, Indiana's Chris Lytle and Damage. Fighting out of the blue corner is Damage. An exciting fighter with outstanding cardio, he pushes the pace from start to finish and will be looking to overwhelm his opponent with an endless barrage of strikes. MMA fighter and full-time fireman Chris Lights Out Lytle is one of the most charismatic figures in the sport. With a history of exciting toe-to-toe -to -toe brawls and an impressive submission game, Lytle is hoping to come out on top of yet another fight of the night. All right. I think Chris Lytle's, I know he has over 30 victories. So hopefully we don't make that 31. Our tale of the tape is brought to you. 38, 25, both 511, both weigh 170, and I got a 4 inch reach advantage. So that should help me when it comes to striking. Also, if you guys want me to skip introductions, let me know. For now, I'm just going to let them play. But uh, again, for future videos, if you want me to skip them, let me know. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. Weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Chris Damage. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Indianapolis, Indiana, Chris Lights out, light out. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal. All right. And also another thing, um, you you notice that I've mostly been up with UFC, and that's pretty much how it's going to be until uh, I don't know. I just want to keep going with UFC for a while and just see how that goes. You know this man very well, and Ooh. you've seen improvements in his ground game. Absolutely, most notably in his guard. Oh, man, yeah, I think, yeah, this is going to be. Positions, and better yet, find ways to reverse them. Now, this is definitely going to be a, ton of fights off his back a tough fight. Soon, but he's definitely going to be harder to put up. Oh, yeah, dude, nice he's counter. fucking me up. Left hook, he's down. All right, we got him down. See if I can get a mount on him. We need to do that overpowered mount. Oh, that's not good. Get him off. Ooh. I wish I had head kicks, man. I just spam head kicks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Those, those counter strikes are going to kill me. At the very least, knock me out. Okay. Okay. Fairly even, I'd say, when it comes to striking. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Oh, body shot. Oh, he hit with a big I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. And he answers. Two minutes remains in round number one. Again, like I don't want to rush and then make a stupid mistake and pay for it. Oh, big combination. First takedown and it gets 
it's not successful. I'm like so nervous, holy crap. Alright, I'm just gonna start swinging randomly and wildly, hopefully. Fuck no, dude. You are not gonna get me like this. Dude, get off my dick, bro. Oh, son! That's right! God damn, that is what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! That shit is intense. Holy crap. Let's take a look at that again. Look at the timing of this hook, Mike. Oh. Thought you was going to kick me, bro. Nope. Here we see it again. And that's it. Look at this. Twist the head around. Fuck yeah. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chris Damage. Damage reigns supreme. I'm not gonna lie, guys, that fight had me a little bit scared. There could have been a chance that we could have lost that fight. And if we're having trouble with a guy like Chris Lytle, imagine how someone like George St. Pierre is gonna be. That shit's gonna be intense. We'll save that for another day, because we are 6 0. Still undefeated. Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's schedule another fight. You know we gotta go for the big dog. Oh, we going for Matt Hughes? I don't know, man. Matt Hughes is a big dog. Fuck it. So, next video, we will be going against Matt Hughes, guys. Hell yeah. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoyed it. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why you didn't enjoy it. And subscribe if you wish. I will see you guys later. Peace.